Hey guys, this is Goku and today we're going to be talking about body language at the poker table. You will observe specific things that people do at the table that might tell you about the strength of their hands. We'll go over 13 most common poker tells. So, let's get right into it. Let's first discuss common tells at the poker table. Player stacks his chips very neatly. First thing he does after winning a pot is making sure all the new chips are added to the stack in a neat way. Such players will usually play a tight and very calculated game. If such a player makes another stack and puts it on the side, it's usually his profit and so you can take advantage of that by betting more than his side stack. Player stacks his chips randomly. Such players will usually play a lose game and they'll like to gamble more. Player wins a big pot and doesn't finish stacking up his chips because he's getting involved in another pot. It usually means they received a pretty good hand, if it were rugs, they just throw it away immediately and finish stacking up the chips. Player shows his hand to someone who isn't involved in the pot. You should watch the person who look at the hand for tells. If he does any sad face, a sigh or anything indicating that the hand is weak, it's likely the other way around and the hand is strong. He likely act in a manner opposite to the strength of the hand he's seen. If you don't spot any tells from the person watching the hand, you should assume the hand is somewhat strong as players will rarely show bluffs or weak hands. Player seems nervous. You'd think surely he's bluffing, but surprisingly he's actually more likely to have a big hand. Even novice players tend to disguise being nervous when they're bluffing and do their best to look calm. So when you see a player begin to shake noticeably, you should assume that it's more likely that his hand is strong. Additionally, if he shows signs of impatience, like tapping his fingers on the table, it's even more likely, because a bluffing player would generally try not to show any tells and he certainly wouldn't show impatience. Player double checks his cards. There comes a flash on the board and a player double checks his cards. You can be quite sure he doesn't have two cards of this suit because he'd remember that. He's only checking whether he has one card of the suit. Player engages in a conversation in a relaxed and rational manner. It's an indication of having a strong hand. If you're bluffing, it's much harder to talk freely as you're using a lot of your energy to disguise the bluff. Oh yeah, did you hear about that new James Bond movie? I thought it was amazing, man. It was just... They did such a great job. Player is smiling at you. Well, if the smile is genuine, then he's likely to have a strong hand. On the other hand, if you see a forced smile, there's a good chance he's bluffing. Player is very animated. It's similar to showing impatience 
and it's an indicator of being strong. A bluffing player tries to remain as stoic as possible, not to trigger a call anyhow. Player glances at their chips. It's a strong indicator of having a good hand and wanting to bet. The glance we're talking about is just a brief one. When players just stare at their chips, it's not a tell. But when they quickly glance, it's usually unconscious and so not an act. Player takes a long time to act. It's an indicator of a difficult decision. Player goes out of his way to act weak. That's what it is just acting. Why would a player who's bluffing give you the exact tells that he is? God, I missed again. Oh, such a... such a difficult decision. I don't know. Should I fall? I don't have much. What should I do? Have a real bad hand, you know. Have a really bad hand. But I think you're bluffing. I'm gonna call you a bluff. Player goes out of his way to act strong. Again, real tells which you will learn to pick up are usually small and brief unconscious movements or changes in the routine of a specific player. When it looks like an act, it usually is. So when someone wants to look like he's strong, he's usually weak. I have a very strong hand. Finger he beat. I'm thinking, how much should I bet? to get paid off. I am thinking 2000. What's your move? So, now you know 13 most common poker tells. Next time you're at the table, pay special attention to all the other players in their behavior. It's a good idea to watch this video a couple of times to really memorize all these tells. So next time when you go play live poker, watch this video right before you leave and when you come back let me know how many tells you spotted and whether they helped you make better decisions. Thanks so much for watching and wow, you are really quite a player right now. Keep it up man. If you like this lesson, please share it with your friends, click the like button and subscribe for more future videos. Now go play poker. Seriously, go. You can have all the theory you want, but if you don't practice, you will not improve much. This course gives you everything you need to know to beat the small stakes games.
but it doesn't give you practice. You absolutely have to play at least a couple hundred of hands after every lesson if you want to improve your game. I'm sure you're going to have a ball. So, see you in the next lesson.